don't be horribly rude and ask me to do it at that end of the court. Just to be quieter with the fans, why not? You probably got to give it as well. No middle ground, eh? Isn't it funny how at the start of these things they all spread themselves out? Yeah, yeah. yeah it makes my job hard. You gotta start yelling all directions. Yeah. I will be mine. Get to know each other. Alright, well, I'm ready to go when, whenever you guys are. I'll rope this in. Yeah, I'll have a chat. Firstly, guys, thanks for coming in and helping out with this clinic. Um, my name's Simon. Okay, I'm an assistant coach with this mob right here, Melbourne United, and uh, also the the women's Siebel coach here at Frankston for next season as well. So, uh, we're just going to do. A whole bunch of defensive stuff today. Sorry it doesn't work out for you blokes, you're not going to get any shots off. Uh, you'll get a couple when we do just, uh, when we get this, but for the most part it's going to be defensive stuff, trying to teach some coaches uh, some drills and whatnot. Uh, all I ask of you is that you go out there and just work your hardest at everything. Try and do everything at game pace, okay? So don't sort of try and warm you. If you're going to mess up because you're not really sure what to do, mess up royally, okay? Make a huge mistake rather than a little mistake and I'll, I'll correct you on it, okay? So uh, just relax and learn something and have a bit of good time, all right? Yeah. How you guys doing? Good. Yeah, yeah, how'd you go Friday night? Uh, have you guys qualified for VC yet? Ah, yeah. oh, that's what we want to hear. So it was a practice game on Friday night. Who'd you play? Uh, Whittlesey won. Whittlesey, geez, I hope it was a home game, was it? Yep. Whew, geez, you don't want to go out to Whittlesey and lose. It's too far, it's a long drive home to sook about it. So, okay, one point lost to Whittlesey. All right, how are we going? Who did we beat to get into VC? Uh, McKinnon. Beat McKinnon? Who else? Oh, sorry. Looks like they're calling our name. Dying Valley. Oh, I love that. That's my home team. So good on you beating them. Hey guys, thanks for coming in Sunday afternoon. Uh, we've done a great job of scheduling this. We get the brightest, sunniest days. So, 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 yeah, so nobody comes in, which is great. Um, Okay, today we're just going to do some, uh, some, what I'm going to try and do is just get through some drills 
about defense and different aspects of defense. So everything we're doing today is completely involving on defense, the defensive end of the floor. So a couple of things that we're going to look at is stance and how we teach that. Positioning on the floor and how we teach that. Uh, sliding drills, defending through screens and some post defense and getting through, skinning up through uh, block to block screens. We've got our 12-1 boys who uh, have already, uh, already uh, qualified for VC, they're going to help us out today. So unfortunately for these, they turn up with their basketballs, they're all raring to go thinking they're getting shots off, but no shots for them today, which is a bit of a bugger. But um, what we might just do is have a little bit of a discussion beforehand regarding uh, how you guys are currently teaching your teams defense and what sort of strategies you have involved. Um, with regards to man-to-man -to -man defense, do you have a, a, a preference as to where you try and send the ball or where you encourage your players to send the ball? Out of the middle. Out of the middle? So keep it out of the middle at all costs. Yep, good. Anybody do something different? Anyone would like to bring the ball to the middle? Try to force the man out to the corners. Out to the corners? Yep, yep, yep. Well, one of the things that I'm going to go through what we do philosophically at Melbourne and what we're going to be doing with the Seba women this year is everything we're going to use as the sideline baseline and try and influence the ball into that direction. Um, and part of that is uh, predicated on how we defend other parts of the floor as well. Um, so you want to try and keep things consistent. So if you're going to three if you're going to defend the post and you're pushing everything sideline baseline, well you should three quarter the post so the ball when it comes in on the uh, pass goes to the sideline or the baseline. So it's just matching up all these different aspects of the floor and making sure that our, our rules are consistent across the board. Um, boys, we can just come over here. Just grab a seat with a little hustle. I know it's hot and I know it's a Sunday, but you can still bust a sweat doing this. What's your name, son? Julius. Say again? Julius. Julius. Oh, that's a hell of a name. Did you, you, your parents 76 76ers fans by chance? You're not named after the great Julius, Dr. J. Irving? Oh, see, that's a shame. I'm going to pick another kid now. No, come with me, Julius. Step up on the floor. Show me a triple threat. Get down like you're going to score on me. Just get down in the triple threat. Right there. Triple threat like you're going to score. Out of the point. Out of the point. Out of the point. Just behind the three-point line. Behind the three-point line. Out of the point. Right here. Okay. I'm going to walk you to where I want you with the ball. Stand right there. Down like you're going to score. And you're ready to play, right? You're right-handed? Left-handed. Get over this side. <laughs> Okay, just talking about stance right now. No, back over here. Just talking about stance right now and, and keeping with uh, how we uh, want to send that ball sideline, baseline. One of the things that we do too often or we, we taught the players is like, we've got to send the ball. You want to influence the ball. Don't send it. Influence it, okay? Um, so if we say we're going to send it, quite often we'll see people open up their stance too much. Okay, oh, I'm sending them side and, and, and you give them path pathways to the basket. We don't want to do that, so we want to make sure we influence it. So we're going to stay square, get down to stance, stance, you're ready to play. Okay, now all I need right here is that my inside leg has to be over his inside leg. It has to be further inside, okay? And so you can't beat me middle right now, can you? Well, you can try. <laughs> but what we're going to do is that I'm going to have this hand out here, because influencing the ball and taking away any sort of way for you to go middle. So in stance, we want to make sure that we're down, back straight, hand out, making sure that you can't come to the middle and we're influencing the ball this way. And I'm going to have a little bit of weight on my inside leg because I know he can't go this way and then I can push off knowing that this is the only direction that he can go on and I can try and slide with him. Okay, so stance is really important. Another thing with stance, and we've got to be really... Brian Gorgian says that the great defences you can identify early by hand usage. Now, a lot of the things, it's a dirty word using hands in defense. And that's not true, okay? I would encourage coaches to actually really promote hand activity. Okay, everyone's, oh, you play defense with your feet. No, you play defense with your feet and your hands. And your hands, okay? Now, the thing with hands, it's got to be like a little, uh, you gotta, it's got to be a, 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 an exclamation point there. With your hands means that when you're working with your hands, you have to maintain balance at all times. So a lot of the times saying, oh, don't use your hands, don't use your hands, don't reach. Well, you can reach, okay? You can get in there and reach, but you just gotta maintain stance and balance the whole time, okay? So good defenses have active hands, okay? It doesn't have to be reaching in on the ball. It could be you've pulled the ball up, you gotta try and pass it to a teammate right now, okay? So I'm just mirroring the ball, okay? I'm keeping my stance. Now, I'm not up like this doing it. 
I'm going to keep my stance and just mirror the ball with my hands. Okay, so stance is really important, hand activity is really important. And as the kids get along and there's more pick and rolls involved in basketball, side pressure with hands becomes really important. And that's one of the things we've been able to create this year at Melbourne United. Um, you know, we've won 11 of our last 12 games and our defensive numbers are through the roof. And a lot of that is just the change in our hand activity. We're not a big stealing team, we're not a huge block shot team, but we put on a lot of pressure. And what I mean by side pressure is if someone's dribbling and we get screened and I've got to fight over and you're dribbling towards the basket, we keep our hands up here and we're swiping in on the ball, not trying to steal it, but just keeping hand activity, making sure that offenses, offensive players just going straight line, so we've got hand activity, hand activity, trying to make sure that they're a little bit more defensive with the way they attack the rim. So hand activity is really important. One of the ways that we can get our players to learn hand activity, and I'm going to get you all down here, lined up without a basketball. No need for basketballs today. Ugh, it's a drag, isn't it? Okay, I want everybody facing this way, first guy, ready to go. Okay, and what we're going to do is drop step. Okay, we're just going to drop step all the way to half court. Okay, this is called the Chinese drop step drill. Okay, we've got our hand in the passing lane, a hand activity right here. We call it a spear hand, spearing on the ball, right here. Okay, and we're just going to drop step, spearing at the ball. Okay, and each time we make a drop step, we're calling out ball. How hard is it to get your kids to talk? Impossible. Impossible? When they talk, when you talk, when talk, talk. So it's, it's, it's a common theme, we have issues getting our kids to talk, okay? How much have you trained? Like you really make it the huge point of emphasis at every single training session. Non-negotiable, it is a point of emphasis and if you don't do it, you're on the line. Your team talk? Yeah, yeah. Anyone in coach here whose team doesn't talk? Is it, do you get them on the line if they don't talk? Okay. No one wants to get on the line. <laughs> so if you want to talk, then put them on the line. No, seriously, it has to be, and, and, and it's like the biggest point of emphasis that I've had so far with our Youth League Siebel women, because they're all very nice young ladies. They come in and they're very polite. And all that. So I don't want polite, young, beautiful women. Okay, I don't want those. I want athletes who come in and are aggressive and are ready to tear your head off. That's what I want. Once the game's over, go and be nice and lovely and all that sort of stuff. But once you walk in the gym, you've got to be an athlete. Come in raring to go. And one of the things that we've really been working on is making sure our voices are heard. Because you've got the stinking boys on court one, the girls on court two. We're going to have to have a talk about that. Where is he? Um, and, you know, they're making all sorts of noise. So we've got to make sure we compete with that. Okay, so guys, line it up right here, one after the other. Chinese drop step drill. First guy's going, I'll tell the next guy when to go. Okay, we're going to drop step. Ball, 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 ball. Yell it out every time we drop step. Okay, first one, let's go. Go. Oh, 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 oh. Hold that up. I don't want to swing it like this, okay? It's ball, ball, ball. Okay, ball, 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 ball. Okay, let's go again. Back straight, butt down. Next guy, go. Let's go. Go, go. Next. All the way to half court. Next guy, go, go. Next guy, go, go. Get involved. Drop step, drop step. Just drop step, drop step. Excellent. Great work. Next guy, go. Next guy, let's go. Here you go, keep going, keep going. Here you go. Inside hand, inside hand. Good, now drop step. Good. Next guy, go. Get a hand in the passing line. Here you go. Next, let's go. Hold that up. Good. Everyone down the baseline. Hold that. Good, 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 good. Down the baseline. Okay, so that's the first part of the drill. We're getting them to talk. Okay, ball, ball, ball. And one of the things that we've got to be encouraging the kids is to just look stupid. Feel comfortable looking stupid. Yelling, screaming. Let them feel comfortable. Now, why do we talk? Anyone got reason? Any, any, because well, the coaches tell us we've got to talk. But why? What's the importance of communication out there? Oh, well, I use Beautiful. Yeah. It's two pronged. So, firstly, yeah, I'm I've got the ball. Everyone knows in the gym that I got the ball. But at the same time, your job as a defender is to make everybody else on the floor, whoever your opponent is, uncomfortable. 
You've got to make them uncomfortable. So if you eat garlic for dinner, you don't wash for three days and you're right up and they're, bah, 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 they're going to be pretty uncomfortable. Okay, so I don't promote poor hygiene, but if it happens to be a trade of one of your point guards getting on the ball, it's not a bad thing. It's going to make them very uncomfortable. Okay, so it's not just about making sure we know what we're doing, it's about intimidation of the opposition. It's great. So after this time, we're going to drop step all the way to, the, all the way to half court. Ball, 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 ball. Same action again. When we get to half court, we're closing out shooters. Okay. Shot! 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 Now, I want to break that down. Let's get one guy on the sideline. Right there. You ready? No. Right here. Right here. Sideline. Face me. You got a ball. You see the ball? Nice brand new Wilson. Straight out of the NBA. You ready to go? Ready to knock down a shot. Here's a dead eye shooter. Okay. Too often we see the kids on a Friday night, Saturday. You got a shooter right here. Shot! Just keep running at them and they go past. Okay? We've got to teach proper pro closeouts. So, firstly, we're down in stance. He's got the shot ready. Okay, I'm getting my hands down and I'm lifting them through your nostrils like that. Ooh, made it uncomfortable. You went like that. Okay? Did that make you feel uncomfortable? That's my job. Okay, I've got to, I'm a defender right now. I've got to make the offense uncomfortable. So, as we come down, staying in our stance, we're closing out real quick. Little choppy feet, lift fingers through nostrils. Lift up through the shooter. Okay? Not down. Lift up. Okay, so when we've done our drop steps to half court, I want choppy feet, shot, shot, all the way to half court, all the way to the other side. Once we get to the other side, we're drop stepping back down the sideline and running back to this corner. I would do this with two minutes on the clock. And the whole time, ball, 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 shot, shot, shot. We ready? Everyone gonna go? Let's rock and roll. Let's go. Hand the passing lane, hand the passing lane. Here we go, next. 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 Louder. Next. Beautiful. Love it. Next. 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 Now, obviously, we can pick up every one of those kids for mistakes that they're making, okay? And that's your job. Early on, when we introduce drills, be really pedantic about how you want them done. Given that we've got a lot to get through today, I'm going to let some of that shit slide, okay? But the guys are doing it. Hold it up a sec. Great job. Bring it in, guys. Fantastic. Okay, just with that one across, I will pick this one up. You've got to come to a stop. You can't run through a shooter. Okay, they'll get three shots on that one. Okay, so it's shot, 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 shot. Come to a stop, then we get down there, okay? Some of you just continually ran, sort of slowed down, but never got to a stop, okay? So that's that drill. What do we think of the cadence on that? It's pretty loud. Now, it's a great way of getting the guys speaking at the start of practice. Just a nice, simple drill, no balls involved, so there's no noise other than the vo noise of their voices. And you get, there's nowhere to hide for them. Okay, so that's a great drill, Chinese drop step drill that gets you one, active hands, drop step technique, staying in stance, close out technique, and using your voices in two minutes. It's not bad. Positioning on the floor, let's everybody up the top. Uh, Campbell, I'm gonna get you on this one. Other, other side, 45. Drill called the Black Hawk Drill. Okay, and it gets you all in one line at the top of the key going out that way. First in line, you're on defense to start. We're gonna walk this one through, turn around. Ball's gonna start right here. Okay, one of the important things that we need to teach our kids is a real simple, the basics of basketball, basics of defense, is moving on the flight of the ball. Moving on the flight of the ball. Too often you see a pass going from the point to the wing, Basket cut. And we react to it after they've made their move. The defense has got to initiate that, okay? So as the ball's being, you're over there. 
You got the ball. I'm influencing the ball this way, okay? As the ball's on flight, you gotta start moving and start to create that defensive triangle. You can't make a basket cut to over me now, can you? Try and get over me. No, no, oh, yeah, good, bang. Keep going over, keep going over, bam. No, 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 I'm keeping my stance, keep my hands out, it's hard to get through, you okay? Okay, so where are you gonna go? You're gonna go straight back there. So I'm in the stance and now I'm staying, I'm dropping with you. The ball gets kicked straight to the point as soon as we get below the free throw line. Shot! Out this way. No, no, back here, just pass. Okay, this way, fly to the ball, make a basket cut. Bam, kick it straight out. Yeah, you're out. Shot! Ball! Good, straight out. So as soon as they make a cut, as soon as the guys on the 45, as soon as the cutter gets to the foul line, kick it straight back to the next guy in line. I gotta close you out. Back to our starting positions. So this is called the Black Hawk drill. So what we're teaching here is closing out and moving on the fly to the ball. And at the other end of this, you know, you've got a primary purpose for your drill, defense. Offensively, we want to make hard basket cuts. Okay, just don't oh, get my little strut going to the basket. Hard at the rim, okay? We're going to catch this at the 45. As soon as we get it, Campbell, as soon as that ball, as soon as they make that cut, we're back to the point. Ready? Go. Hard cut, hard cut. Pass, go. Pass, go. Everyone, pass and cut. Stay, stay on D, stay on D. No, same defensive player. Everyone's coming in on offense here. Go. Cut. Cut. Next in line. Other side. No, no, hold it. You gotta close out the shot. Shot. Ball goes that way. You playing everyone on this. You got you're responsible for everyone. Jump to the ball on the flight of it. Jump the ball on the flight of it. Stay with him. Next in line. Hold that up a sec. So you go through. You might get through three or four and then you switch it up. I only go on defense for a bit here. So I want to get a good example of it. You guys just pass it, cut. You're going to be on the 45 making the pass back. Okay? Ball! Ball! Shot! Ball! Ball! Shot! 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 And it's continuous. And then after three or four, you might go live. And then it's one on one. Just let them try and stop them one on one. So you're back in our lines. Need a defender. Here you go, Chris Golding. First time in your life you're going to defend here, right? Actually, he's been all right this year. Set, let's go. Good. Live, go, one on one. Next one. One on one, let's go. Good, rotate it through. Now you're on defense, you go to the back of the line. And we just go through until everyone's been on D there. Okay, again, you can spend half the day trying to correct them on the things they're doing wrong, but we just want to get through and show you the basis of the drill. And you guys make the necessary point. Is there anyone got a question about that? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Let's get you guys in two lines. Thanks, Campbell. Two lines, above the elbow, each side. Got my man right here. You're right there. You're over here. You guys got the ball. Need two defenders. Need, no, no, you got, you got the ball. Stay on offense, mate. You get buckets. Turn and face. Everybody else behind. Two defenders. Okay, I need stance. I need pressure on the ball. Good. Okay, hold on. Anyone see any issues here? Inside foot. Got to be outside just a little bit. So you're going to get this foot here. It's got to be just outside here. Okay, so like this. Ready? Right there. Okay. Make sure that foot. If he gets that foot over yours, he's going to beat you to the middle. Okay, we can't be beat to the middle. You're going to be right here on the nail. One of the most important positions on the floor defensively is the nail position. Okay, stop penetration. So we got, what did we scream when we got here? Ball! 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 Nail! 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 Okay, now we're gonna do this in slow motion. We got ball, nail. Ready? You're down, triple threat. Secondary purpose here. Ready? Go! Ball! Nail! Ball! Nail! Ball! Nail! Ball! Nail! 
Okay, hold that up. Perfect. Stay in stance. Don't bend over. Okay, back straight back. You flip it like that. Pass the ball. Reverse it. So you've got to close that out. Yes. Hold it. Yes. It's your foot outside his foot. Good. And you jump. You got right there real quick. Nice job. Okay. Ball. There you go. Good. Reverse it back. Reverse it back. Reserve. <laughs> Stop right there. Okay. So, hey, if you got the ball, it's ball, not nail. All right. All right. Good job. So what we do there is get that going, get catch that ball, triple threat, pump fake, pass fake, kick it back, get the defense working. Okay. You guys comfortable with that? Let's rotate you guys to the end of the line. Two new, two new, two offensive players become defense. Two new offense on the floor. So you do that maybe 15 seconds. Let's go. Rotate. Rotate. Offense, defense, two new offense. Oh, let's go. Straight into it. Hold that right there. Good job. Anyone got any, any comments that they want to say? They, well, you could do that better. Feel free to advise. I mean, there's a whole bunch of things that we could do better right there. Something we just talked about. Uh, yeah, I don't want denial. No, I mean, you can. I mean, if you want to completely ball reverse, but you open up uh, penetration lines. So it really depends on what your philosophy, philosophy is defensively. Uh, there might be times in the game where you need ball, ball denial because you're trying to disrupt and create turnovers. So. But this is just basic, pure half court. Flight of the ball issues, kind of seemed a little bit reactionary. We waited until the ball was caught and then we, oh, Christ, that's right, I'm in ball, no, I'm nail. Okay, so once again, this time, I just want to put a little focus on moving on the flight of the ball, okay? Last one, we got 10 seconds. We ready? Let's go. Hands up, stay in stance. And stop right there, good job. Okay, one of the things, I'm not a big fan of Duke basketball, preppy boys, but one of the things that they, they, they do an excellent job, and I have their philosophy on, is defensively, if you get out of stance, that's a red flag that you need to come to the bench. So at all times, you should be down in defensive stance. No, 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 ball, 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 ball. No, 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 no. You should never get out of your stance. And that goes for anywhere on the floor. How often, as soon as the ball gets kicked away, ball goes on that side, I'm just like, whew. Time for a break. Weak side defense. You see it every single game. Doesn't matter the levels. Professional, NBA. NBA is the worst at it. Those guys are like this half the game. Okay? But you see it every... If you can encourage your kids to stay in stance at all times, one, they're going to be buggered, which is great if you have to take them home after a game. Okay? Send them straight to their room. They're not going to bug you the rest of the day. Secondly, it allows you to rotate players a little more freely. They're getting tired quicker, got to come to the bench. No more bitching about court time. Okay, so mum and dad in the stands are a little happier as well. Okay, so you just kill two birds with one stone. The third most important one, really the foundation of it, is that you're a better defensive team. This is your most athletic position. An old dude like me with crippled knees and a bad back, I can still get in this stance. I still look like I can do something. The D offense is like, ooh, he's down low, he's ready to play. I can't move. It's bluff. It's a bluff. But the offense don't know it. So if you can't even defend, you can't move, but you look like you're down and ready to go, and now it's like, oh, geez, your turn. The ball will be kicked around the perimeter. So get down and bluff a little if you're not that good. Great job. Let's get a line here. Line at the point and a line at the other 45. It's split evenly. Three guys here. Four guys over there. Good. Ball's here. Second guy in line gets it. Come out, you guys are on defense, front line defense. Okay, you got ball? You better get up and pressure that thing. Get up and pressure it. There you go, good. All right, which way are you sending that ball? I can't tell with your feet. Is it square? Yeah, you are square, but you want to, we want to influence the ball just slightly one way or the other. Which way you want to influence him? Is he a good left-hander or a good right-hander? Right. He's right-handed? See, just send him left then. There we go, good, right there. Send him to his weaker hand. Okay, now you're going to be in just a little bit. Right here, you got your defensive triangle, point your guns. You're gonna be exactly the same on this side. Defensive triangle, point your guns, down in stance, okay? These are closeout positions. 
How often when the ball gets offensive rebound, ball gets kicked out, guys run straight to their man. Never run straight to your man, you're supposed to run to position. So if I'm out of position, the ball gets kicked to the point, that's my direct opponent. I've got to run into the to run into a defensive triangle. Okay? So what we got here, we got ball, help right, help left. Right? We're good with that? Got it? Ball? Ball! Help right! Oh just right, good, right, right, right! Left, left, left! Yep, a little louder. Go. Oh, 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 hips down. Don't bend over like that. Here we go. Back straight. Go, offense! Hold it, will you? Back here, back here. Okay, you jump into this position. Good. Okay, you're the nail right now. Kind of the nail, aren't you? You're going to be the nail. You're in the stance right there. You're a nail. Okay, ball's two, right, right over here. You can get it now. You're in the defensive triangle, right? You can see both. Head straight. See ball, see man. No, don't turn. You see ball, see man? Yep. Yeah, okay. You're, what position are you? Nail. Nail. Good. Ball gets kicked. Ball. Now hold that up a bit. Okay, hold that up a bit. What we want on this one is I want you to drop a little bit. Okay, I'm going to get you in the nail. Right here. Good, right there. Send, send that line over a little bit. Send that one over a little bit. Right there. Yeah, cool. You're good right there. Stay in the ball. Get in the ball. Good. So you nail, you're low. Okay, you're going to be low now, right? Okay, so if you go baseline, what are you going to do? You're committing to that once you get past him right there, okay? So, nail, low. Ball, nail, low. Ball, nail, low. Ready? Got it? Hold it. There's three in the Supremes. Need the third one. Low. There we go. You ready? Good. Reverse that ball. Get to your spots. Good. Low, 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 good. Okay, hold that up. Any questions there? Pretty obvious, pretty simple. Okay, guys doing a pretty good job of communicating that. Now again, we're going through this, flying through it as quickly as possible because I've got a daughter's birthday to get to and it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. You all got things to get to. Okay, but the genesis of that, ball, nail, low, okay, and that's just universal, okay, you can use whatever terminology you want, but you've got to have those three positions when the ball's at the 45 covered, if you don't, there's penetration gaps, you're going to give up buckets, okay, good job guys, good job on that one, any questions with regards to that drill, do that for two minutes, three minutes, making sure again, really be Offense, you got a jab step, pump, pump fake, pass, okay, get them working both sides of the ball. Secondary premise of this is offense, obviously it's the defense to start with. Okay, so that's positioning. Jump to the ball, Blackhawk drill, jump to the ball, two on two, jump to the ball, three on three. One of the things we need to do is sliding. We need to do a better job of sliding, our quickness and sliding. This is my favorite drill because it puts players into a coma. It's hard work, okay? I'm going to get you on different spots on the floor. This is going to be messy, guys. you got something you really need to work on. It takes a little bit of time. I'm going to have one kid right here. One. You're going to try as hard to jump as high as you can and hit that bottom of that uh, backboard there, okay? You're not going to reach it, and I, I, I'm okay with that, okay? You're going to start right here. I'm going to start here at the uh, half court. Need someone at half court. Someone on the uh, elbow at the other end of the uh, keyway. Someone in the deep corner. Just one of you in the deep corner. Everybody else lining up on the baseline. Okay. When I say go, first person in line is going to run to the elbow. Close it out. We're in denial. Okay. Two slides to your left, two slides to your right. Foot fires and we're turning around. All the while, you guys are in foot fires. You're down in stance and in foot fires, okay? The guy at the end, starting in the deep corner, you're gonna sprint all the way around the circle in the middle down to the baseline on this side of the key. You got that? When you hit the baseline, when you pass the baseline, that means that we can rotate in this one, okay? So I'm gonna get one more guy up on the base up here. One more. Yep, hustle up. You stay in that one. 
It's to start in the corner. Start in the corner. Okay? Let's walk through this. Pretend that we're doing this in fast motion. And have the kid at the end, you're gonna start sprint. Sprint. You're gonna charge out here. Yep, good. Yep, half pace, half pace, half pace. Slide twice. Ball, ball, slide back, ball, ball. Everybody else is in. Foot fires, foot fires. You get to, you're jumping up and down, hitting the backboard. Good. When you pass the baseline, okay, you're gonna sprint to the bottom. Next guy in line is gonna run in, start jumping up, hitting the backboard. Get a foot in the baseline, sprint this way. Deny, 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 deny. Foot fires. You guys are all doing the same thing. As soon as he hits the baseline, I go, go. Two slides hard, keeping that ball in front of you. You have to visualize an offensive player here. Two hard slides, they're getting by you. Two hard strides, back down into stance, two hard slides, and then we square up and we foot fire until that player gets to the baseline. Okay, are we cool with that? We kind of know what I'm talking about? Okay, you ready? You ready to run? Everybody else is ready to slide. Set, go. Right, two slides, two strides, two slides, two strides, two slides, two strides. No, no, you're going to the elbow. Hold that up. Terrible job of coaching. You guys are going, you're replacing each other. So he comes this way, you're doing two slides, two strides, two slides, and you'll get to the elbow. You do that and you'll get to the corner. Okay? When I say go, you'll start sprinting back this way. Okay? So get there. Get there. You ready to close out? Slide. 25, you ready to do the sprint here? Go! Slide, go, go, hit the backboard, two. Hold it. Back it up, back it up. Need another guy down there with him. One guy down there with him. Let's go. One over there, one there. One, you stay here, stay here. Go up there. Need another one in the corner. It's a hard one to get going. Once you've got it going, it's a beautiful drill. I need you running. You ready? You're going to start down here. You guys are all going one spot, right? No, actually, you guys just hold your foot fires. Foot fires, foot fires, foot fires. Come out here. Go. Foot fires, foot fires, foot fires. When I say go, next time you guys are in, go. No, 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 you've already done that. You got two and go, two and go. Go, go, slide twice, slide twice, back. Foot fires, turn around, go. Next in line, two, two, two and strides. Two slides, two strides. Two slides, two strides. Go. Two slides, two strides, two slides, two strides. Come up, deny, hit the backboard. Deny it, deny it, you're coming through, good. Two slides, two strides. Next, next, hit the baseline, come up. Good, slide twice, slide back twice. Foot fires, turn around. Good, slide, two slides, two strides. Hold it, the offense is this way. Ha, ha, oh, got beat, ha, ha, down. Come on, let's go, go pace. Next in line, here we go. Two slides, two slides, deny, deny, come back. Foot fires, ready to go, keep, keep going. No, 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 no. He ain't hit the baseline yet. Back in stairs, Julius. Why we got no one there? You ready? Next in line. Go. No, no, you've done that. Two slides, two strides. Two slides, two strides. 51, Julius. The ball's at this end. You've got to keep your eyes on it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. You right? Foot fires. Go. Julius, two slides, two strides, buddy. Here, go. Two denial, two denial, two denial. Good. Foot fires. Turn it around. Good. No, no, turn it. Hold it. Julius, you're killing my drill, man. You're killing it. Back at the end. You gotta listen, big fella. You'll get recruited because of your height when you're young, but at some stage you gotta start to listen. Okay? You got two denials. Bam, bam, bam. Foot fires. Woo. Okay, until he hits that baseline. You ready, Julius? We'll stick with this for 30 more seconds. Otherwise, trash it, never do it. Set, you ready, Julius? You got two slides, two strides. Go. Hit the baseline, go. Two slides, two strides. Come on, Julius. Foot fires, foot fires. Next, go. Deny. Two slides, good. Stay in stance, stay in stance. Hit the baseline. Stay in stance. Foot fires, go. Two slides, two strides, guys. That didn't, not yet, go. Keep 
keeps Go next. Next. Go. Need to run in transition. Get out ahead of the ball. No, not yet. No, 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 no. Now, go. Hold that up. Bring it in. Does anyone get the picture of what we're trying to achieve? Guys, this ain't defense. The ball's behind you. The ball's got to be in front of you at all times. Okay? Just got to think of the common sense end of the angle of that one. Okay, we've got guys with their back to where the ball would be doing defensive slides. Okay? That's all right. I didn't teach it well. Okay? So that's on me. Takes a little bit of time to get it in, but I recommend you go through the pain. Go through it because it's a hell of a drill. You put two minutes on the clock, get that going, and everybody's just a road. And two slides, two strides, great technique. You need coaches or parents or help making sure the guys get it down straight, that they're exhibiting good technique. Don't let the technique go out the door like I did. We've got to get through other stuff, but don't let it go out the door. Lambert defensive drill. Lambert. Who enjoyed that? Supposed to have your hands down. Defense ain't fun. It's hard work. Nah, it's good. It's a good one. Defending screens. You're going to start with two guys. Everybody on the baseline. You accept you. You're special. Go to the point. You got a ball. Julius. I'm going to put you in a position of least responsibility. You're going to stand here, set a screen. Can you do that for me, mate? Good job. Everybody else? One and two, right here. Here. You're going to be on defense, you're going to be on offense, okay? He's going to come off this down screen, Julius. I've got least responsibility. Don't go shuffling your feet on me right there, okay? Down stance, set the screen. You ready? Don't move your feet there. You stay right there. No, no, no. Down set. You can move your feet to set a screen, but don't go dropping or going high, okay? Stay right there. Okay, you're going to come off that down screen. And we're going to work on technique on how to go and lock and trail on turnouts. Okay, really important. Okay, firstly, this is a great position because you can kind of stop him uh, going a direct line. Okay, but as you get through, okay, I want you to drop, drop, get down low, good. Get your inside shoulder connected to his outside buttock. That's his butt, his left butt cheek. Okay. Uh, don't get too close because you never know what might happen, okay? So but you're going to be down here right there, okay? You're coming out to the 45 to receive the ball, okay? So you've got your shoulder down, you're straight, yep, good, you're running like that. Now the reason why we go inside shoulder, outside buttock is because if we trail directly, the screen it can kind of lean in and clip you. But if you stay connected, outside shoulder, sorry, inside shoulder, outside buttock, you're going to miss the connect, you're going to miss the hit. Okay, and you can stay connected and still at the last moment try and deny the pass out into the passing lane. Okay, so we're just going to do this at half pace and then we're going to do it at full pace. Okay, you ready? You're going to come off that. You might see the ball. You might see the ball. Yeah, you're going to start underneath the rim. Okay, so as soon as he goes baseline, what are you going to do? Hit right there. Okay, slide him behind. Okay, stay connected. Right inside shoulder, outside butt. Good, and you're coming off hard at the 45. Stay connected, stay connected. Ball comes here. Okay, now we've got to close that. There's going to be a little bit of a gap. Close it. Outside, inside foot. Outside, his inside foot. Good. Okay, so that's it, half pace. Let's back that one up. We're going to do it at full pace. Technique, outside shoulder, inside shoulder, outside butt cheek. You ready? Go. Good connection. Nice. Not bad, pretty good. You know what I really like? You like hitting people, don't you? No, you should. Okay, you gotta be tough out there. You know? No, I'm gonna see like that, you, you stay connected. As soon as he tried to go that way, you went bang, straight away, got that forearm in there. Real important. If you don't have the quickest feet in the earth, you gotta start using your forearms. Staying in stance, using forearms, you can slow guys down. So let's back that one up. This time we're going to game pace. Game pace. Julius, you set yourself a good screen here, buddy. Go. Nice. Square it. Good. Back it up. This time, we're going to add an on-ball screen, okay? But we're not actually going to set it. And we're going to follow a little bit of what we're going to do with the Seabull Women this year and what we do at Melbourne United. It may not be applicable to how you do it on weekends or on Fridays, 
okay? But I'm gonna throw it into the end of this anyway. So we're gonna go out there, and then at the end of it, I'm gonna give you some commands, okay? I'm gonna say ice, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna completely open up and deny any dribble to the middle. Then I say ball, and you go back into a normal stance in front of him, okay? So I square. So ice square, ice square, ice square. You ready? Go. Good. Hold that. Now, Julius, you reckon he could have got a pretty good hit on him there? I reckon so, too. Got to get that inside shoulder, outside body. He's got to clip you. Don't right, let him clip you. Back here. Go. Ha. Ah, he got you. Hold it. Stay there. Now, I'm going to say ice. And you're going to jump straight into this position. You ready? Hold it. So we're square right now. I say ice. You go straight here. Okay, because what's happening is Julius is running up here on you for a minute, Julius. Get back into a square position. I'm coming up to set an on-ball screen on you from here. Ice! Jump into his side, good. And now you're setting him to the screen. Julius, come here, set that screen. I'm Julius, I'm your help defender right here, and I'm showing right here. So we're bringing the ball straight to me. Okay, now as, yeah, fight through, fight through. You're gonna roll to the basket. You're squaring up, get in front, still get in front and I'm melting back to mine. Okay, so it's ice, square. And once you get through that screen and you're back in front of the ball, square! That means that I can leave and go get back to mine. Okay, so we're gonna go through that part one more time. I got Julius right here and I'm turning. No curl here on the screen, no curl. I got curl. Go. Hold it. Slow, whoosh, slow, right. ice! You're square, I can come back off now. Okay, you gotta tell me that I can go off. Square! Good, so we're just gonna simulate that. We're not actually gonna send the screen. So go through that procession again. I'm gonna say ice, and you just jump into stance. Square, back, ice, square. And the reason we do that is we want kids to start operating on their teammates' advice. Nothing worse, and it drives me insane. I love the kid to death, but you all know Jake McCauley. Sorry, Jake, if this is getting recorded and it's going to come out, I'm going to bag you on it. Love Jake, great kid. But it drives me nuts watching him play Siebel, and he's like this the whole time. Because that, to me, says he doesn't trust his teammates. He's always looking over his shoulder, wondering where he's going to get hit. Okay? Don't worry about getting hit. Your teammate's responsible for your protection. So you just straight into it. Ice! Square! Ice! Square! Ice! Square! You ready? Here we go. Go! Ice! Square! No, no, don't, don't put the ball on the hall. Floor. Just hold it and he's going to change stance. Ice! Square! Ice! Square! Okay, next in line. Good job. Go again, you two. I want to teach everybody, so we're going to stay with these two on this one. That was fantastic. You're good. Okay? One more time with that. No, Julius, you don't have to do anything, buddy, so don't ask a question. All right? Down the stance, the screen. Here we go. Go. Ice! Square! Ice! Square! Ice! And we would rotate. Okay? Again, really important that when we're defending the ball and there's screens coming, depending on how you want to defend a screen, I mean, there's different ways. You can get under, you can switch, you can fight over, you can mush, you can ice. There's so many different ways of doing it. Um, and I'm not going to have the time to clinic unto itself just how to defend pick and rolls. But what we really need is to start getting kids to operate on the cadence of their teammates. None of this. Where's the screen coming from? I hear it, I know where it's coming from. Screen left, screen right, whatever it is that you use for your, your glossary of terms, that's what we're gonna do. Great job, guys. Hey, you're a heck of a defender. You play some crazy defense on Friday nights for your coach as well? You try to? Good job, you learn quickly. Good job. Any questions with regards to that? Yeah, yeah, uh, the more you can get them talking, the better. Especially because it, the, it's the, uh, the actual ball defender that would call off the square. So once in a game situation, come up, hit a screen on me, Julius. I'm, I'm, I'm square, I'm square. Ice, I get on that side, I send it downhill. Once I fight through and I'm back in front, square! That means that the, the guy who's the help on that one can get back to the roller. Okay, and all the other guys who are tagging can get back to theirs as well. Now, I suggest with that, because I'm guessing none of you are icing sideline pick and roll. Anyone icing it? Anyone know what the concept device is? 
Well, we just kind of briefly took it. It's, it's basically not letting people use the screen or we got someone there to sort of capture it. San Antonio Spurs have made it famous for the last 20 years under Popovich. Okay, I don't want to go into too much because it's a whole clinic unto itself. But whatever it is that you're doing on pick and roll, just make sure you can just change that into whatever it is that you're using. Okay, whatever it is, whatever strategy you're using, change it to the, the terminology at the end there. Post defense. Julius, I'm going to get you involved, my man. Okay, your offense. You're going to be offense on this side. I'm sticking with you. You're my defender. You're going to help me. Okay, you're going to split line. Ball's over here on the 45. Okay. Post defense. Now, the way we're pushing everything, sideline, baseline, again, three-quarter post, I have to be pushing the ball sideline, baseline. Okay, so you got posting up like you want the ball. He's got it. You want it, right? So post up like you want it. Good. You kind of don't... Okay, first thing about wanting the ball in the post is you have to learn how to have a pleading face. You got that? Beg him for the ball. Yeah, go. Yeah. You got a really sweet smile on you. But he ain't going to pass you the ball if you give him a sweet smile. You almost got to give him, you give me that ball, or after the game, we're going to have to talk about this in the car park. You give him that look. Give him that look. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't pass it to him. I'm probably shooting it. Are you going to shoot it? Yeah, hit the boards. No. Command the ball. Big guy's got to command and you have to teach your kids to command the ball because the kids on the perimeter don't like giving it up. They don't want to give it up. They want it for themselves. So you need to teach your posts to command the ball. I'm taking away your command by giving some great post defense here. So what I want to do is my knee's going to be in the back of your knees. Post up. Plead for it. Plead for it. Target hand. No, no, no. This is your target hand right here because I'm going to be right here. My back knee's going to be right into yours and I'm going to get a forearm right here. No, good. Forearm right here in your hip and on three quarters. Can you throw that pass? Where's it going? Try again. Where's it going? Give me the target hand. Where's the ball? Good. Where's that going? Where's that ball going? Baseline. So it sticks with what we're doing. We're baseline. We're pushing that thing baseline. It sticks with our philosophy right there. Okay. Now, sorry, man, I'm sweating all over you. Dirty game, this. Okay, so a three quarter right here. What often can happen in the post if you get a three count, one, two, three, you don't get it, is I'll tell the post players to go screen away. So what we're going to do is going to turn around and go box to box screen. Now, if the ball's over there at the 45, and this is your man right here, where are you standing? Yeah, you're right there. And you know what, you're right here, and you've got your weight on here, and this foot's ready to go, because as soon as that pass to the baseline is there, you might even go snatch that thing. Because that's the only pass I'm allowing in. If I'm three quarter on that, you'd be like, oh, I got that piece if it goes there. Now, if he's going to turn around and screen you, okay, I'll be you for a minute, Julius. You're three quarter. Three quarter me. I'm on the ball. No, no. You can't give it to me. Turn around. I'm setting a screen right here. You're coming across. Now, yep, I'm going to put you in the post because he's defending me so well, I can't get it. Now, that's your man right there. Okay, so there's a number of ways we can do this. You can have your own rules if they cut baseline, switch, four fives, uh, bigs on big, switch to switch. Okay, what I want on this one, just, for, just to keep everything uh, universal, is I'm going to be split line, you're going to be right there. Firstly, it has to be a baseline cut. Okay, so you, over here, Julius. You come over, set the screen on me. I'm stepping over on that one because, again, Nothing gets over my chest. Same as those basket cuts earlier, nothing over the chest. So you're coming across. Come set the screen into me. Come set the screen into me. Good. Hold it. No, you've got to fight me for this one. Just don't go baseline. Okay? You try and go over the top. Bam! Keep going over the top. Bam! Keep going over the top. Bam! Okay? Can you move? So where are you going to go from there? You want to get into the post. You're going to go behind me. Bam! Crack! You guys are through. Okay? Crack! Get into the post. Stay short, yep, good. Three quarter that one right there. Okay, so if they try and get over the top, raise the, the arm bar, keep going as they try to go over. When they go behind, crack them with the arm, push them low on the block. And as we get down here, Julius, ball's at the 45, spread that floor. You're posting up, plead with him, want the ball. Okay, I'm pushing you as low as I can, as low as I can, as low as I can. Good. Now, if you get the ball there, you're not much good to anyone, are you? No, because you're too far to drop step, make a post move, you're too wide on the floor. 
and I've condensed the floor and taken away your spacing. So again, you guys can have your own rules on this on how you want to defend this. You might want to switch on baselines. We'll do the switch on the baseline. Everybody off the floor. You guys are up. Need one defender right here. I'm gonna walk through this one. You can go on the baseline. You're out of this drill for now. Okay, three quarter of that one. Plead, beg for it. Good, you're down in stance, you gotta see a triangle, good. Okay, one, two, three, doesn't get it. Turn around, screen. Turn around and screen. Good, you're coming across. Now hold it. What are you gonna get? One leg over the, nah, back here. Slow motion. One leg over the top. One leg, there, good. Now you're ready, he tries to go over. Because if you keep a leg under, he tries to go under, you're gonna get cracked into him, he's gonna get over the top. So you got that leg, arm ready to go. Crack him, crack him, crack him. You guys are out. Keep cracking him, keep cracking him, come by. You just want to get into the post. Crack him again, hold it. As he comes behind you, this arm's going to crack in. Go, 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 release. Bang! And start pushing, get that thing low in his hip, in his hip. Get that, you, good, right there. Get that leg over the top, three quarter. Start push, lean on him, lean on him. There you go, good. Now, there's no reason why a little dude can't push out a big dude out of that block, is there? You ever watch Casper Ware? No? You don't know who Melbourne United are, do you? I need a son. No. Anyone here watch Casper Ware? Anyone here watch Casper Ware? Anyone seen that kid get beat in the post yet? Got beat last night once, first time all season. And if anyone who didn't watch last night's game, I fully support your decision. It was horrible. However, Casper is tough as nails, and one of the things about defending the post is that you don't have to be a big guy. If you're a low center of gravity and you want to play low anyways, okay, because this is where your strength comes from, okay, you've got leverage to push and lean and, and use strength, okay, being small isn't that big a disadvantage unless you play from behind and you play like a small guy. Okay, so get low, get that hint, now push him in, command the ball, move him, move him, move him, good, good, keep moving, keep moving, throwing the ball. Okay, hold it, where are you going to be at? That's the one you want, right? So you're going to be there on that. So again, the only one he's allowing is that lob pass to the baseline. And if we've got hand pressure out here, it makes it really hard to get the ball into the post. And it's real hard already because kids don't want to put it in there. It makes it real hard when uh, you put that pressure and make sure the guys don't want it. Okay, so let's go through that at half pace. We did it really slow that time. Let's do it at half pace. Back to our starting positions. This time, instead of going over the top, I just want you to go baseline, okay? And we're going to switch it, okay? We're going to switch, you know what that means? It means you're going to take the screener and he's going to take the cutter. You're just going to stay right where you're at, okay? Command it, command it, not there, three quarter, turn away, screen away, screen away, Julius. Good, hold it. Swing that leg over the top. Good, sit on his kneecap. Get that arm through. You're going baseline on this one. Hold it, crack him. Good, low, hold it, right there, Don't hold it, freeze, great job, great job. Now, back here, I'm going to be you for a minute, okay, step off, he set that screen. Now again, we're swimming through, okay, right here. Now, what would happen if you just got it stood here and there's a switch, a big guy right here is going to seal you right there and command it and I'm stuck behind him. But by getting my arm and leg across, if he tries to seal, bam, I'm inside like that, real quick, nice and quick. Okay, I think we just lost our microphone. Okay, so you've got to get that position real quick. Slip inside, back to your starting positions. Three quarter of the post, lean on him, good, screen away. Arm and leg across, good, switch, get inside. Good, screen away. No, no, don't pass it, don't pass it. Yeah, once you get out to the other side, out to the other side, stay in it. Screen away, screen away. Arm and leg across. Good, switch. Stay in stance, screen away. Good, switch. Screen away. All right, nice job. Pick that up pretty quick. Now this time, I want the offense to switch it up between just going baseline, which is easier, because you don't get cracked, and then trying to fight over the top. Okay, try and fight over the top. So you gotta get those arm bars up. Start cracking blokes with those forearms, those huge Popeye-like forearms of yours are going to unleashed. You ready? After the 45, three-quarter of the post here. Stay in stance. We're always in stance. Screen away. Oh! 
That's your man there. No, we don't switch. Only when he goes baseline, we're switching. So you got to meet him with your Popeye arm. Back to the start. Keep stance, keep look, keep vision. Screen away. Good, good. Now hold that. We're happy with that. Okay, now he gets playing behind him right there. Because if he receives the ball there, we're okay with that. We don't want him with the ball down here where he can score. We're all right with it down there. Okay, keep, keep going. Now go underneath, go underneath. Crack him. Left arm crack. No, no, reverse. Yep, good. Bam! Now start pushing. Start pushing. Ready? Over that side. Screen away. Good. Unleash the boom. Good. Force him behind. Nice. Three quarter of the post. Beautiful. Screen away. Good. Force him low. Go into the post. Good. Three quarter away. Screen away. Good. Oh, he likes to hit people too. Good. Screen away. Good. Nothing over your chest. Excellent. Good. Hold that up. We get the drift on that. Okay, those guys picked that up pretty quick. Hell of a lot better than our Lambert defensive drill. Okay, but that's, you know, that, if you can master that, and again, as they get more advanced in age groups, you probably don't want to switch that baseline, baseline screen because what will happen is that we set this screen across and, you know, we'll, even on bumps, you know, they come over and we just bump it. Okay, we might change it to a bump, but if, if we change it to a bump, then all of a sudden the screener, kicks out hard and then we're, lot, we're trailing and we're too slow. Like you can't do that stuff with Kirk Penny. You can't do that stuff with Chris Golding. That stuff just, it, it, it's obsolete. But with juniors who aren't going to be flying out to the point after they've set the screen, catching and shooting, it's, it's not a bad technique, it's not a bad tactic to have. Anyone got any questions with regards to that? No? It's all pretty simple. Has anyone got anything different that they use? Has anyone got anything that they actually use in those scenarios? Do you have a strategy when there's a box-to-box -box screen? It's not highly implemented. No. I think it's good. I think it's great for going, it's just teaching. You know, always in stance, nothing across your chest. These are philosophies that go throughout all of half court defense. And then the box to box, it's a great way of further teaching it, further employing it. Um, also, playing with your forearms, cracking people. Okay, we're not out there trying to hurt people much. But what we are doing is we want to make sure that people are using their forearms, okay, in a legal stance, okay, not this stuff, just bam, 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 feeling your way through in a half-court defense. Okay, how are we doing for time? Half, ten past three? No, that's not bad. Hour, ten minutes, anyone got any questions? Anything that you guys, questions regarding defense, uh, the, any issues that you may be having? You might want to say, oh, have you got any advice on this? Or how do you guys do it at Melbourne United? Or how have you done this previously? Anything to do with defense. Anyone got any questions? Really boxing, out. boxing out drill. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's really good. <laughs> what age group? 12. 12s. Are you introducing the whole thing about boxing out for the first time? All right, under 12 girls, so it's a real introduction. Need two of you. Just two, you two, let's go. You're boxing out. You're starting right here. Okay, right there. You gotta to get to that ball, okay? So what I want you to do is that whichever way he goes, so see, if he goes that way, you're gonna slip your right hand in, you're going that way and you're going to sit on him. Don't let him have it. Sit on his legs. Sit on his legs. Okay? And you're not going to let him get to the ball. Okay? You've got to try and get the ball. You've got to try and get a hand on the ball. And you're going to try and refrain, stop him from ever getting the ball. Okay? If he goes this way. So again, i got you for a second. I got you for a second. I'm you for a second. If he goes this way. Bam! Right there. Good. So you try and give him a bit of time. Okay, so you guys are gonna go light. So if he goes to your right, swim with the left hand. If he goes to your left, swim with the right hand, sit down on it, make sure he doesn't get a touch on the ball for as long as you can. You ready? Set, go. 
Good. And you just notice the footwork there. Now I don't know how much these guys have been doing it, but just that just teaches the footwork. You know, they pick it up quickly. So for just pure first time introduction, it's a little bit of a fun drill you can do with them. Guys, over the sideline here. Another one. Actually, I'll take you for a second. Sepa, I'm gonna throw you the ball. You're just gonna shoot it over the top of me. Okay, you ready? Shot! Go get it, go get it, go get it. Okay, and you can go one, try and make, make sure it bounces three times. So again, close out drill, sit on it drill, box out drill, okay? And you can line up a whole bunch of kids on the sideline do the same thing. So before you get to rebounding drills, I would start with that. You want to know what the next stage is? Yep. Okay. You can do closed out drills one on one. Um, the one I like is the hardest thing is to rebound from the weak side. Okay. So I need an offensive play. This is a, if the shot comes from this corner, you got low, you got nail. You guys are on offense, 45, deep corner. Julius, you're in a deep corner, give me the ball. Give me the ball. You're off the floor. You're low eye, you're on the nail. Okay, so who's your direct opponent? Right there, you're gonna be over in the corner. Okay. Brett Brown, coach of 76ers. I was really lucky to play under Brett for about three or four years as a kid. And it's always stood with me one of his rules. It's two times in basketball, you can turn your back on the play. Two times. One is when you're out in the denial in a passing lane and they back cut, you can quickly turn your head for that split second. And the other one is weak side rebounding. So the most dangerous guy on a weak side rebound, if I shoot the ball from here, is to the opposite corner. Okay, ball goes up, look where it goes. 70% of the time, that's where it's gonna drop. Right there. Now, he's playing here because there might be penetration. This guy sees there's a shot. He's got a free run at it. So, I also teach, the second time you can turn your back on the ball is when that shot goes up, is to turn and box. And sit down on that, okay? You've got the same on this side. Okay, I'm throwing up a shot. You guys, you gotta be there, I might, I might penetrate. Okay, it might be help, help, good. Might be help. Good. And then it's going to be a shot, and you've got to get back and box yours. Okay, shot. You guys have got to go for it. <laughs> okay. Let's go again. Dance, dance, see the ball, see the ball. Shot goes up. Shot. Good. Box it. Okay, get it. Hold it. I didn't realize we had to go all the way back of saying once you've boxed the guy out, you actually have to go retrieve the ball. Once you've boxed your guy out, go get the ball. Let's go again. Let's go. Dance, 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 dance. Need a nail. Good. Shots up. Hold it. How do you get there so easy? You got to get, unleash those Popeye forearms. Let's go again. Go! Go, chase it down! I like him more as a defender. <laughs> okay, so that's something real simple. Obviously, don't make it three pointers for the under 12s, make it a little bit here. And you can put them on the other side of the keyway. Um, other ones, you got triangle rebounding drill. Need six guys. One right there, you're on defense, you're on defense, you're on defense, need three offenses. You're on offense, come here. Need one over there, need one over here. Christian Golding, get there. Okay, I got the ball. Okay, you guys are in a try. Only one of you, only one of you. I don't care which one. One of you step up and be, hey, it's me. There we go. Okay, so back in here. Okay, I'm gonna ask the offense to just start circling. Start circling the outside. Start circling, start circling. Circling, circling, all in the same direction. Defense, you gotta go around with them. You gotta go stay with your man. Stay, Julius, you're right here, man. Stay in stance, stay in stance, stay in stance. Keep them on the outside, shot goes up. 
That's a long rebound, that's my bad. I'm not supposed to miss it that badly. Come on, go again. Circle, circle, circle. Come on, offense, got a bit of pace in this. Circle, circle, shot goes up. Get him out, get it, Julius. Julius, I need you rebounded, big fella. Go again. Get your box out, go retrieve the ball. Here we go. Circle, circle, circle. Shot goes up. We are the worst rebounding club in Australia, officially. Ah, guys, you got to get a body on him, start moving him back. Just because he's bigger don't mean you're going to get the ball. Go one more time. Defense, I need you to box out and go get it. Circle, circle, shot goes up. Not for 100. Under 12, one boys need some rebounding drills. Lots of it. Okay, so that's just a triangle rebound drill to circle them around. Make it, and the good thing is, is it also teaches them defensive stance. You've got to see the ball, you've got to see your man the whole time changing, making sure you're work, searching with your forearms, that sort of stuff. Well, they'll naturally just start to do it and it reinforces exactly what we're trying to teach. Anyone else got any questions? Any advice? Anywhere to go this afternoon? <laughs> The carrot and stick, I like sticks. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? I hate this PR, politically correct world we live in and I don't push them too hard. Garbage. There's winners and losers in everything in life. If you lose the drill, you're down for 10. And I'd have it if you give up an offensive rebound in this, you're down for 10 push-ups straight away. Absolutely. Bring out the big stick. And if you get an offensive rebound, maybe you don't get, maybe it's only five if you give one up later on. Okay, but yeah, or just let him go score. Absolutely. Yeah, no, there's winners and losers. These kids know. They understand. You know, they're not all getting A's. Well, some of them are. That's the way our school system works sometimes. But, you know, like just, you know, teach them. You know, the, the world ain't fair. Okay, coaches aren't fair. Try to be even sometimes. They're not gifted with the same athletic quality, so that's unfair. You know, but they've got to learn. They've got to find ways of navigating. Just because you're not the fastest, you don't jump the highest, doesn't mean you can't be the best rebounder. Okay, so yeah, absolutely, carrot and stick, especially the stick. <laughs> Anything else? Sorry for the left wing tree huggers here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's not get into politics. Bad place to go on a Sunday afternoon. Any other questions? Are we all good? Say again? No, it has not. <laughs> not even a little bit. It's hard enough just watching them. Nah. <laughs> I don't even profess that I've never really coached juniors um, outside of being a director of coaching. Um, I think it takes a special kind of patience that I might not possess. You know, I think you, you know, the, the, the most important people at a club, I think your youth league coaches are really important and I think your double bottom age coach, extremely important. Everybody else you can kind of shift around a little bit, and it, but those two people, They've got, the they've got to have the most patience and those are the biggest two learning areas. You know, the kids who come in as eight-year-olds, they soak up so much and it's hard to remember because, you know, they're, they're so bad when they come in and then after a year, it's like, no, nah, they couldn't have been that bad. And every year, coaches are like, man, this group I got this year, terrible. You got nothing like last year, but they are exactly the same. So, yeah, double bottom age in the youth league, that's the biggest learning curves. So, um, yeah, no passion at all. <laughs> None. No, I do. I enjoy it. They're fun, they're fun to work with the kids. Anything else? Strike now, because I don't know when I'll be back doing this. No, we're all good. Oh, okay. Thank you, boys. Guys, come over. So they're 12-1 boys. They've, they've already in VC. Uh, it's a great place to be. Um, look, we're not the strongest club going around. Um, and, and it's, it's a shame that we sell. Well, it's not a shame we celebrate. We should always celebrate victories. Fantastic effort of making VC before Christmas. The work's only just starting, though, for you guys. Okay, set your bar, set the bar really high of what you want to achieve in under 12 basketball this year. You're a heck of a defender. Okay, work on your rebounding. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. You guys are tremendous. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Well, good firm handshake too. I only handshake with the right hand. Good job, guys. Good job. Thank you. Thanks guys. Good job, Julius. Best name in the building. Good job, man. You post defense is sharp. Good job. Thanks, Ivan. All right, Steve. Luke's playing in the youth league, so I go. Is he? Yeah. There you go. Nice. You have a plan here?